Hello, my wonderful, beautiful people. How are you doing today? I hope you were well. I am doing well. Um, do you like my hat? My outfit? I just finished filming a very special and very fun collab video and I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> So for those of you who are new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And for all of my gluttons for punishment who just keep coming back for more, thank you so much. <laughs> I love you guys to bitty bits. So um, I'm just going to like, I got some stuff to do today. <laughs> I have I have some stuff to do. <clears throat> I still have to propagate that white princess and I have to check on how our experiments are doing because remember, I transferred them all to a bag in their respective growing media and then into one of my spag bags or my water bag and my perlite bag. And I think, I haven't checked on them, but I kind of peeked in the greenhouse and I think we may have some roots. So we got to check on that. Anyway, so I'm just going to be doing some other random stuff. I have some presents to wrap. Um, I, you know, just like stuff. <laughs> so come back and watch me do stuff. Hello. I already did an intro. I just feel like every time I need to, when I sit down and I go turn this on that I have to like, you know, do an intro. Anyway, so the first thing that I'm going to do is check on these um, propagations that we did. So the first ones I want to check on are the varicosum that I cut a while ago. I'm not sure if you remember that. Maybe you do. Um, so let's go ahead and check and see how they are doing. Let me just tilt you down. Tilt you down and turn you a little. Is that good? My hair is all flat because I had a hat on. Is it poofy? Does it matter? No. Okay, so, uh, one. okay, so this looks promising. So although this leaf is starting to go, which is fine, let me just check. So I was going to save this little truth bomb for the next, um, uh, like truth bomb plant myth video. <sighs> However, I'm just gonna let you know this now. <laughs> so, um, you know how we all like have this conception that keeping a plant in high humidity decreases or will make sure that you don't have any spider mites. Um, I found out the hard way that that's actually not 100% foolproof. Um, so I had one of my plants, um, I think it actually might have been this one, I can't remember, um, in a spag bag in the greenhouse and I didn't know that like I had checked it over and everything and it was, you know, what I thought was fine or actually, you know what, I probably didn't check it thoroughly to be quite honest with you. Um, anyway, stuck it in a spag bag stuck it in the greenhouse and when I went to check on it about a month ago um, it was totally covered in spider mites. Now if you're not aware <laughs> that's in a spag bag that's like 100% humidity um, and I still have spider mites. Anyway they're gone now so thank goodness um, but anyway, I think it was this one. Maybe it was another one. I honestly can't remember. In any case, um, this guy's doing really well. He's got a new leaf that he's working on right there. He's got some roots kicking out of everywhere. And um, he's starting to get much less floppy. Uh, his stem before was like quite floppy. And now he seems to be doing well. He's got some new leaves on the way and uh, it's doing really well. So that's good. Um, then we have these two little wet sticks. So these are also varicosum. And I'm not going to take them out of here, but if you look right in there, you can see that both of them have new little growth points. So they are doing really well in this whole spag bag situation. Okay, so that's that one. 
Um, and I think that was only the, the, the only varicosum that I had. Um, we cut that quite a while ago. Didn't do so hot at first, but we fixed it. Okay, so um, I think it was my last propagation video. We chopped up my melanocrysum, and if you remember, there was that big, long, leggy stem that had like nothing on it. Well, <laughs> it had a little teeny tiny. Um, anyway, so I'm actually gonna pop these out and check and see if we've got any roots going on. Okay, we have a little root. So I think that was maybe two weeks ago. Um, we have a little root on that one. If you can see it, it's on this side here. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so that's better than nothing. I'm gonna stick him back down there in the spag. Let's check this one. This one feels a little more stuck. Okay, all right. Okay, so this one's doing, I mean, it's got two little roots. You can see that, little two little roots there. And if you look on this side, it has a new little growth point. Yeah. All right, so that one's doing okay. Let's cram him back down in there. Not cram, gently set. And then let's check on this little guy that has the leaf. So not a whole lot gone on, going on over here. There is no new roots on this one yet. And there's no new growth point. Oh, wait, wait, did I speak too soon? Is that moss? Yeah, I didn't speak too soon, that was just moss. Um, yeah, so there's nothing going on on this one just yet, so he's gonna need some more time. But like I said, they haven't been in there that long, so I'm not like super worried about it or anything. So we will put those back down in there. I try not to take them out if I can help it, and this is the first time that I've actually looked at them since you and I did that together. Um, okay, so we'll stick him back in his little spag bag. Oh, I, oh, I've got the date on it. I cut that on the 4th of December, yeah, so it hasn't been very long. Okay. Now. Uh, the next one that I wanted to show you, so this was the um, Philodendron Splendid or the Melanocrysum Varicosum cross that originally was planted in perlite that did the best. So if you remember, we went ahead and just put that in soil. Um, as you can see, it's doing really well in soil. We haven't had any leaf yellowing or anything. That new leaf that was there is still there. And check that out. Look at that, we got a whole new leaf going on there. It looks like it's gonna be a decent size too. So that's pretty exciting. So it acclimated in the greenhouse to the soil quite well. So as you guys know, I won't like make so, too many changes at the same time. So if I'm gonna put it from spag to um, soil, I will still leave it in the greenhouse for a while. So it's not having to deal with getting used to soil and lower humidity. So. That's great. So the one in perlite is still doing pretty well. But what I'm really curious about is how the ones that um, were in water and moss that weren't doing very well um, in our whole little experiment process. Let's see how they're doing now. You ready for this? Which one do you think's going better? Water or moss? Let's take a look at the water first. Okay. Well, we have a lost leaf. So, okay. Um, I mean, the chances are pretty good that we were gonna lose that leaf anyways. That was a thrip. Seriously? Look, see now here's the fun part. There were thrips on this and it's in water. <laughs> So you know how our old theory about like, you know, them breeding in soil and if you're not using soil then it's less likely for you to have spider mites or thrips or whatever. Well this one at one point did have spider mites also and it's in water and now apparently it has um, some thrips on it so it's going to get a good spray down and uh, I don't have it near any of the other plants but the likelihood of the other one in spag moss having them is pretty good as well. Um, Anywho, 
So this original node down here, as you can see, still really hasn't done anything. But there is quite a few roots on this upper part. So what we may end up doing is just cutting this right here and letting this piece be a plant. And maybe we can just see if, if we can ever get some roots from this original node. Um, other than that though, I mean, it's, it's doing okay. It's got another new little leaf and one on the way right there. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. Um, not really happy about the thrip situation, so that's that's not fun so let's go ahead and oh now I got it. okay we'll set them over there not near any other plants and let's check on the one in spag moss all right first I'm gonna check for any pesties and oh no one fell There it is. Ha! We got it. Okay, um, just check and make sure before I go flopping it all over the place here. I think she looks okay. Okay, so this one Again, that original node not doing a whole heck of a lot of anything. Oh, I thought that was a thrip on my hand. I almost lost it. But this little node right here has got some roots growing on it. It looks like there's a little auxiliary bud starting to come out there. It's so weird. Oh man, that little part died. Okay. Um. This whole experiment has just been the weirdest, weirdest situation. <laughs> um, it really took my expectations of what I thought was going to happen and, uh, you know, based on my experience and just changed that. Um, but I think really what it had to do with in the end was the extremely high moisture content in the, in the air surrounding the plant. So I think when we took our, our sphagnum moss and our water propagations, put them in the bag. I think that's really one that jump-started the plant. Um, higher humidity just helps roots grow immensely. So we're just gonna go ahead and, um, well, first of all, I'm gonna spray these guys down and then we'll stick them back in there. Um, you'll probably not see these guys again. I don't know, maybe when we actually pot them up. Um, we'll just kind of end off the experiment. But I mean, I think this is pretty much the end of the experiment at this point. We know that the perlite won for sure. And um, we know that when we add them to the higher humidity, the other two started finally growing roots. So who knew? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go set these aside and then we will show you the next plants. Okay, now we uh, got that taken care of. Ew. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check on this melanocrysum. So this is the one that I just plunked into the perlite that we took the melanovaricosum out of. And we have some new leaves growing up here and all kinds of roots happening. So uh, what I just did, because it was too big to set in a bag, I just put the bag over top of it this way. And um, I just took a piece of you know the tape that we use and just kind of wrapped it around there and uh, work like a charm. <laughs> we red greened it, as we say here in Canada. Um, okay, just wanna gently take this off. Okay, all right. So, uh, I believe there's two cuttings in here. So this was the biggest one, and as you can see, it's got a new leaf. Pretty little varicosum leaf. Now I'm super paranoid about pests. <laughs> in my spag bags. This one looks good though. There is nothing on this guy. Thank goodness. Um, so let's pull this. Oh, there's some resistance. Um, okay. Well, I mean, so I'm trying to get some of the perlite off so you can actually see what I'm looking at here. Now it's on the floor. 
Okay, so uh, this one had the two nodes, and on this one you can see that there was some root growth. If you can, can you see that? And then on this one up here as well, there's some roots. And the plant's just doing fairly well overall. Nothing, um, I mean, here's the crazy part. And so I might actually just chop this whole thing. Look at all the roots that grew up here and right here. You have some roots. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, plants, right? So this part that was not down in perlite at all actually grew better than the plant that was down into the perlite, into the um, the water and the perlite mix. <laughs> what? So that's fun. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this guy. We'll just chop him into nodes, I have no idea. But um, I'll stick him back in there for a little while and uh, just kinda let him give her. Cause I would like to, you know, eventually just have a melanocrysum plant that just grows like it's supposed to and grow leaves like it's supposed to. <laughs> I know it's a lot to ask, but here we are. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this second one. So this was the mid cutting. That was the top cutting. This is the mid. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this bottom node on this one was the one that we air layered and I use that term lightly because I kept forgetting to actually moisten the moss which is imperative. And so this was the air layered root. And then as you can see, there is no additional roots that have grown. Um, and this one doesn't actually have any additional um, aerial roots. Oh wait, that's not true. There's a couple little ones right there. Can you see that? Right there. Why is it, where is it focusing? Is it focusing on my sleeve? Stop it. Anyway, it's right there. Um, so yeah, we'll just continue to let him do his thing too. And uh, they still look healthy. There's no yellowing, so that's fine. And um, I would eventually like just to have a normal melanocrysum plant. So I'll get these two put back in here. And then uh, I will show you something else that I'm gonna have to, I should have done this to begin with. I will explain it when I get there, but just I'm kicking myself a little bit for this. So I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> okay, not my finest plant parent moment here, guys, but I'm um, gonna show you something. <laughs> We're gonna fix it. It looks really sad. So not only was when I got this plant a sad moment, <laughs> but this may be an even sadder moment, like an actual sad moment. So this is my philodendron gigas. I mean, I know the plant looks naturally kind of droopy anyways. Um, when I got this plant, look at those leaves. Oh, I mean, they're not yellowing or anything. Um, I think it probably needs some water. I realize this is pretty dry. I've been really busy with so many different things, as you guys know. And uh, normally I check on stuff in my greenhouse and water them more frequently. Um, but, and I should have been more diligent with this one specifically because I knew that it needed that and I didn't give it that. So what I think I'm gonna do is chop this guy into nodes, put them in my spag bag and uh, grow uh, a couple individual plants. Um, we have a oh, lost leaf there. Uh, Cause I definitely don't want this guy to die and he's not dying right now. I think he's just really thirsty. Um, I'll go ahead and do that off camera though. Cause you guys have seen me propagate Oh, so many times. <laughs> um, yeah. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, <laughs> um, I know I was gonna do my white princess again, but I, you know what? I'm just this video is probably long enough for a vlogmas video, so I will just just go ahead and wrap it up there. Hi, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed filming it. There's lots of stuff to do. Uh, stick around for tomorrow where I will show you my entire Monstera collection and just kind of like explain to you how I grow them. Um, that's not to say it's the right way or the wrong way or whatever. That's just how I do. Uh, 
yeah and then uh, we're gonna start working on filming the the winter houseplant collection slash Christmas tour but anyway <laughs> um, I hope you guys come back for that thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video if you are still here um, I want you to go ahead below and leave a red heart and a green heart because it's Christmas or like if you don't do emojis just be like heart or whatever or what up Nikki or peace yo or whatever anyway sorry okay <laughs> thank you guys all so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so it is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it I would like all of you to have an amazing day night week month and year I love you all to bitty bits and I will see you in the next video Mwah.